Hey folks, Eric Pierce here, and today we are looking at a product called EverWebinar. Now, if you're watching this, I don't have to talk to you or convince you about the power of webinars. You already know about it. You already know that they're very effective. However, maybe you're wondering about the technology behind it. Maybe you're looking at EverWebinar as being an, an option for being able to set up an evergreen type webinar. And a lot of people are promoting this right now, and a lot of them don't have a clue as to actually how it works. I bought this uh, very recently, so I wanted to just kind of do a full-blown demo or review and also provide a bonus if you decide that every webinar may be for you. Now, in essence, here's what this will allow you to do. This will allow you to automate your webinars. Now, I've been a customer of GoToWebinar for a long time, and you're probably accustomed to that where you actually get on the webinar, you're actually having to do things live, and then the promotion's over. Now, what this allows you to do is this allows you to automate that process. So if you do a live webinar, then you can turn it into an evergreen webinar, or you can just do a video and create it to where it makes it look like it's a webinar that's going on in real time. Okay. So the reason this is, this is beneficial to you is because this allows you to automate the process. Number one. And number two, it gives the feel of a live webinar, which is going to improve your conversions and going to improve your, your interactions and uh, you know, it's just a really effective way to be able to improve your sales and your conversions. So what we're looking at here is we're looking at the dashboard, and I just want to kind of walk you through the process of how this actually works. So you can see I've got this next level SEO webinar already plugged in here. If we click go live, I just want to show you what the uh, registration page looks like. And one of the key features that's built into every webinar that allows you to do this very, very easily is what's called just-in-time webinars. So if you're driving traffic, let's say from Twitter ads, Facebook ads, or any kind of, you know, doing any kind of traffic generation, and you're getting leads, then what this allows you to do is once they hit this page, this how allows you to have a, what's called a just-in-time webinar. So instead of waiting for, you know, several days or anything like that, this will appear like the webinar is appearing just now. So if you look at this right here, we're looking at, right now it's 9.07. You'll see this shows the next webinar time as being 9.15 as well as 12 o'clock. Okay, so it shows two different times. So what this is allowing me to do is this is allowing me to have webinars go off every 15 minutes. Okay, so when someone comes to this, it doesn't matter what time they come to it. It looks like, oh, there's a webinar starting in the next 15 minutes, which is going to allow me to be able to have higher viewership and people to consume my content because nobody wants to go to, you know, they click on an ad in Facebook, now all of a sudden, you know, or, or if, if it's an email, if, if, they, if it's one of those things where, you know, they click on the ad, they want it right away. They want to be able to consume it right away. It's not one of those things where, you know, they want to wait two or three days. It's like, okay, this is my hot button right now. This is, this is what I'm interested in. I'm wanting to learn more information. So what this is going to allow you to do, this is going to allow you to have better viewership of your actual webinars. So let's just walk you through the process. I just wanted to show you that real quick. And there's a, tons of different designs that you can do on these uh, registration pages. But it's very, very simple to do. You don't, you know, nothing, uh, nothing complicated about it. It just walks you through step by step of the way. So let's just go through and let me just show you how this actually works. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on New Webinar. And this has a tutorial that will walk you through it. And I'm just going to click. I'm ready to begin. Uh, and again, the way this works is you just fill out these information. You'll see there's 10 steps here, but it's very, very simple to do. You can get this thing knocked out in just a couple of minutes once you, you know, kind of get familiar with what, what you're actually doing and, and what the purpose is behind this. So uh, source of your Evergreen webinar. This is basically uh, your video file. Okay, so you can do... You can pull in, if you're a Webinar Jam customer, you can pull in a Webinar Jam session. And a Webinar Jam is, is an alternative to GoToWebinar, in case you didn't know. Uh, I still use GoToWebinar, but uh, I'm using this EverWebinar to be able to take my GoToWebinar and convert them into evergreen webinars. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to say we want to link up an external video file. So this is asking for a URL to the video. So I'm just going to paste that in right there. I've got that. Then asking for the duration. And this was one hour and 19 minutes and 29 seconds, if my memory serves me correct. We're going to click Confirm. And then we go to Basic Configuration. Now, this is where we enter our webinar name. We're going to call this How to Make a Gazillion Dollars. in SEO in 24 hours because that's what everybody wants, right? Uh, web, webinar title, 
we are going to call it the same thing, how to make a gazillion in SEO. Okay, webinar description, wake up with hot blondes and bag fulls of money. That's what everybody else wants, right? That's what that's what everybody wants. So um, we go right here. We we put the webinar language in here, and you can do webinars on demand. Now this is a cool feature that they've got built into it because they've got their own directory of webinars, and people can actually look at this directory and just start consuming your content. So this is another traffic source that's built into this. Now I'm gonna not list this webinar since this is kind of silly. Uh, title and, and this is just basically a test so we're just gonna click confirm right here then we're gonna go to the webinar schedules now this is where you set everything up like what I was talking about you can do where it's a just-in-time webinar or you can set this up to where it appears let's say you wanna have it on a specific day of the week then you can do that here very very simple to do you just simply click the day let's say we wanna have it on every Wednesday at 12 o'clock pick the time zone you can do the users time zone or you can do a specific time zone you simply click add and you'll see this is now scheduled for every Wednesday at 12 o'clock at the users own time zone uh, you've got a watch replay feature here this will create a replay page where later on you can set it up to expire and all kinds of stuff very very cool I'm gonna click uh, then you have got the just-in-time schedule which is what we were talking about where this will appear every 15 minutes. I'm going to not enable it on this one. I've already showed you how that works and showed you uh, kind of how this how that looks on the registration page. Uh, so just for, for time, for the time purpose, let's just skip that right now. Then you've got the block holidays. They've already got holidays that, that's built in, you know, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, built into this where, you know, you, don't, you won't be doing any kind of webinars on those specific days. You can actually add specific days that you want to block on here too so if you don't want it to you know be on a holiday or something like that uh, then you can you can set that up very very easily then we click uh, confirm and we're gonna go on to step number two this is where we enter our presenter name so I'm just gonna type in my name real quick right here and an email address and if we wanted to change the photo which I would recommend that you do you just simply click change photo Click Add Admin Presenter, then you move on to step number three. Now this uh, this is where you figure out the you, you pick the registration page, and the cool thing about this is there is an uh, average opt-in rate on each of these squeeze pages. So you'll see this right here. This template averages a 39% opt-in rate across all the uh, the ever webinar users. Okay, so you can go in here and you can pick out which ones have a higher opt-in rate and then you can use that particular template and these templates look really good and you know it's it's a uh, highly op you can you can optimize this and customize it by just simply clicking customize this template you type in your name your your main headline text here so this is how to make a gazillion dollars in SEO you can put a background image then here's where you can uh, you can add type your button text we're just gonna click submit then you can on your registration form you can pick first name email and you can actually pick phone number as well so we're just gonna leave it at that we're gonna click confirm and we actually have to do a background I'm gonna select one that doesn't have a background image so we will just uh, we can run with this real quick All right, so then we can pick our bullet points if we want to. I'm gonna leave that off just for the uh, time purposes. And once we click confirm, you can preview the registration page right here. Okay, so you can see this is, uh, you can do watch yesterday's replay. Since we've enabled the replay, you've got these sp specific dates that's coming up right here based on how we set it up. Now again, uh, I would recommend looking at the just-in-time feature to help your your viewership and consumption okay so webinar notifications you can set this up to where you can use their servers where it will be sent out under your name for the uh, for the reminders or you can use your own server you can configure that very simple to do and you can also set up a SMS 
for uh, with Twilio. Okay, so like if you wanted text messages to go out to remind people about their webinar, then you can set that up right there. I'm not going to do that right now. I just wanted to show you that was there, that was available, and we move on to the next step. Now, this is where you've got your email auto autoresponder integration, and you just click this button right here, and you can see this integrates with a variety of autoresponders. You've got AWeber, GetResponse, the, the big dogs, right? The big dogs of email. You just simply click which one you want, and then you just put in your autoresponder code. Very, very simple to do. Easy, easy. Uh, all you gotta do is just paste the code in there and then click confirm. Now, this is, uh, then you've got the option of embedding your webinar jam affiliate links in your webinar pages. So if you're, um, if you're wanting to you know, make some affiliate sales, then basically what this will do is this will just put in your affiliate link at the very bottom of the footer of those pages. Integrate a third party tracking system. So if you wanted to track using Google Analytics, Facebook, or if you wanted to have your, if you've got your own custom tracking uh, image pixel, then you could do that there. Very, sim very simple, pretty self-explanatory. Then you've got API custom integrations for more advanced users. We're not going to go into that just yet. Uh, we're going to go to step number six, which is the thank you. Okay, so you can display a custom video if you want to. Uh, very, this is pretty self-explanatory. After they register, then this is going to allow you to have that video up. You can put in a, a test, uh, text message, or you can actually survey your registrants. Okay, so you can create a survey, uh, like what topics would you like to see? You know that type of stuff. Not going to worry about that right now, but you can click preview thank you page, and well, let's see here. Let's click cancel here. And you can just click preview thank you page, and this is what it's going to look like. So they can actually add it to their calendar, and they they can be reminded of when the uh, when the webinar will will be live for them. Okay. So then we proceed to step number seven. You've got a lot more options here, and we're just going to run through these real quick. You've got polls and surveys. This is where you can actually survey the uh, the, the people. And this is what this is going to help you do. Is this going to help? The, uh, the 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 attention span. If you've got a poll or if you've got a survey or something like that, you can plug that in right there. And again, on each of these things, if you're not sure what this does, this is a little video icon where you can just pop this open, and this gives you a, uh, a help file. So it kind of walks you through what it does, how it works, and how you can uh, implement it. You've also got the live chat box feature that you can plug into. The uh, feedback flow announcements, I'm not real sure what that actually does, so we're just going to uh, we're going to skip over that. I'm not using that right now. Uh, product offers, this is if you want to make an offer. You can actually pre-configure your message, so you just cl click Add New Offer, and then this is where you can uh, you put in your image, like if you wanted to put your Add to Cart button you know, to, to appear, and then you put the time frame that you want that to go in, and it will automatically do that for you. So when they're live, when they're on the webinar, it will actually appear. You know, so if you want to say, "Hey, click the add to cart button that you see at at the time of this video," and you have it at a specific time, then you just plug that in right there. Uh, then you've got the option to redirect to another website once the webinar is done. Pretty self-explanatory. You've got sticky messages, and I'm not real sure what exactly that does, but it basically says this is highlighted that remain at the top of the chat box for as long as you want. This is something I didn't use on uh, what I have, but uh, moving on, it is available there. You've got the display number of attendees. This is where you can actually uh, have dynamic attendees or fixed, where you have a fixed number of atten attendees through the webinar. The dynamic allows you to replicate what actually goes on with a normal webinar, where you know you've got a curve of where people will attend a, a peak and some that drop off. Uh, then you can also have got the number. You, you can set the number that you want. So let's just say you've got this dynamic attendees. You can say, okay, I want the peak to be 122 or 120 or whatever. You click confirm. So at the peak level, then what that's going to have is that's going to have 122 people at the absolute peak of your webinar. Okay, live sales alerts. You can have it to where you uh, you broadcast in real time. You know, orders from the uh, from attendees. That's just like little sales alerts. Like, hey, uh, John has purchased your product. I don't use this. This is something that is available there for you though. Uh, display social media share buttons, very self-explanatory. Let's move on to step number eight. This is where you've got the, where you can enable the webinar replay page. So we're going to click enable for that, and you can see 
that uh, when, when we click enable webinar re registration page, then what we're allowed to do is you're allowed to set up the replay expiration time. Okay, so basically what this allows you to do is you can have this to expire, you know, in a certain number of hours after the live session. So they only have like a limited amount of time to actually watch that. I'm going to leave this at no expiration just for this. And then you've got allow users to send questions from the replay page and display social media share buttons, Facebook and Twitter. Uh, pretty self-explanatory on these last two. Now let's go on to the uh, step number nine, which is monetization. You can actually charge people to watch these uh, webinars or you can just have them free to register. I'm using mine free to register. Basically what I'm doing with mine is they're coming to the webinar and then we are trying to sell them stuff on the webinar or we're trying to get a, um, we're trying to get uh, to book an appointment, one or the other, okay? So then we go to uh, step number 10 which is finish, and this is uh, this is where you actually look at your registration page. So we just go live, we click open, and you can see this is uh, this is what our page looks like. Now, obviously, this would look a little different if we had put our uh, actual picture in here and put in some bullets, and uh, we could spruce this up quite a bit. But that's what this looks like. And now all you have to do is now you have to start driving traffic uh, to this webinar. And this will, you know, this will, this, the system is automatically set up for you now. So you don't have to worry about, you know, going on live all the time or whatever. You can come in here, you can have your video set up and this will do all the work for you where you can spend more of your time focusing on driving traffic, driving leads. So this is the ever webinar uh, walk through the demo of it. You've also got analytics where you can actually look at the people that watched your watch your videos or watch your uh, watch your webinar this will show you so you can go to analytics right here you can select you can select here where it's at, where you select the webinar and you can select the session and you can select you know the time frame whether it be the all time or a specific time frame like this month last month or the last seven days you can pick that and it will display who actually saw your webinar and who attended your webinar okay so this is a, this is every webinar, pretty simple to set up. Literally, you can go in here and provided you've got your webinar already done, you can have this thing knocked out, ready to, to, to go, ready to be up and running in the next you know, 10, 15 minutes. Literally, it didn't take me long at all to just be able to go through and just knock out all the steps that you saw here. So I've got a bonus together. Click the link that you see on the video or the link that's in the description. If you're on YouTube and you're not on my website, if you're on YouTube, then uh, click the link and it'll take you to my website where I talk about my bonus package and what it is available for you once you join through my link. It's, it's like none other and uh, it's not something that you can get anywhere else, not PLR or anything like that or, or it's not something that anybody else is offering. So uh, anyway, I hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you real soon.